Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to match three of the quarterfinals of the July 17, 2011 Akron Beta Tournament. This match is between Shalka playing Grekum in the northeast corner of the map and Sigils playing Grekum in the southwest corner of the map. So it's a Grekum versus Grekum match. Very common mirror to see in these Akron games, but hopefully it will be less common as time goes on. The next patch is apparently going to be buffing Vector even more, and they were buffed a fair bit last time. So we should be seeing much more Vector and CISO in later tournaments. But for now, it's going to be just Grekum versus Grekum in this particular game. And it's not like Grekum versus Grekum is a bad match to watch. It actually has a very, very clear strategic setup. And all players, at least most competitive players, do know how this generally will go. Typically, both players will be building up, as you can see, building up quick economy. Shalka is also building up quick Octos, or should be anyway. Yes, he's building up quick Octos. However, the Octos are not set up to build RPs yet. Likely, the Octos will be set up to build RPs after... They go out, looks like they're going out for an attack. I'm guessing Shock is probably going for an echo attack of some sort. And then from there, we'll be building RPs with those Octos to echo out the attack entirely. But generally, yeah, build a lot of Octos, build a lot of RPs, and then from there, build a decently large force to harass your opponent while getting a stronger economy. And then, once you have enough money, get advanced structures, get a Spire, get Chrono Boarding, and send back Pods. The counter, of course, is sending back Sepi Pods, or building Sepi Pods chronally to begin with, and then countering with that. And... You get basically tactics running, going around the Sepipod, Faropod setup because Sepipods beat Faropods, Faropods beat any ground-based units, and then the ground-based units, especially ground-based anti-air, can deal a lot of damage to Sepipods. Later on in the game, you get legal class units coming in, which can deal a fair amount of damage, and are actually not the most efficient for their cost necessarily, but they do have very generalist tendencies, so they're great for dealing with a wide range of, of enemies coming in. Anyway, right now Shalka is coming in with his Echo Force, or probably going to be an Echo Force, while Sickles is coming in with his Octos as well, so it's going to be north side has two Octos versus two Octos, and south side has two Octos versus one Octos, so Sickles is likely to win this encounter because that one Octos at the bottom, once that gets killed, another Octos is coming in behind it, but it won't be able to last long enough, won't be able to help out. Still two on one, three on two at the north as well, so Sickles will be able to win this out. He actually didn't lose a single Octo in that entire battle, but of course, if Shaka does in fact echo this out, which yes he did, he actually did build up all these Octos as RP, so that's going to be primarily echoed out. He may have built another Octo or he may actually send some Octos for real, but I think all these Octos are Echoes. It looks like that's just complete Echo Scout. But Sickles did have to defend against that. He did a very good job defending against that, regardless of its ultimate reality. Sickles, on the other hand, about a minute up, still defending. Doesn't realize it's an Echo Scout yet, but luckily he's going to figure that out very quickly. And doesn't really care. Assuming it's an Echo Scout, he's now sending his Octos to the West expansion to try to build up there as well. So Sickles is going to get a very powerful economy, as he often does. He pretty much pioneered this entire Grekum style of building a huge economy and some forces to attack to cover the expansion and tech up to Chrono Boarding to then attack with Chrono Board Fire Pods. So I'm not surprised to see him doing that right now. Shog, on the other hand, isn't really doing that quite as much. He isn't focusing as much on economy. He is a minute behind, but he's focusing more on getting quick reefs. He's getting six R he's six LC and one QP, while Sickles has gotten about a minute up from him. 6 LC, 3 QP in his main, and 2 LC, and it looks like there will probably be another LC and QP in the Westside expansion. So, Sickles does have a much stronger economy, even when you consider that he's a minute and a half in the future, that's still a much stronger economy. So, Shalka seems to be trying to get tech a lot faster than Sickles, but I'm not sure how effective this is going to be. With Sickles having a much stronger economy, this tech is going to be a lot less useful than it would be if the economy is strong enough to really maintain it. However, if Shalka manages to build a fairly strong economy on top of this tech, then he will be able to make up for that. However, in general, Sickles has been typically a lot stronger at this sort of game than any other player so far. So I'd say Sickles is really doing a very good job. Shock is going to have his work cut out for him to get out of this right now. Sickles has actually started to build up... He, oh wow, he's built the Northwest Expansion, so he's built up Shaka's Natural as well. So Sickles is really taking the west side of the map by storm. Getting some Octopods and some Faros as well to help out just as a scouting force, typical scouting force, because they're pretty good against ground. Like, Octopods are quite good against ground. Faros are generalist units that detect cloaked, so any Faropods come in and they know they're there immediately. And Advanced Archers has been upgraded as well. Sickles is about two minutes up from Shaka. Shaka is, is able to build Advanced Structures, but he hasn't actually gone out and done that yet. He seems to be a bit more focused on trying to figure out how to get up his base, protecting his base, setting up Faros, setting up for... Sure, he's like he was sitting up. He is lifting up as far as you notice. He's getting a lot of his progen units to stand up and be used for other things. He's doing this largely because he's trying to make sure that he has causally in, or somewhat causally independent units. So it's a bit unclear to the enemy which units were used for progeneration and what the ultimate progeneration triad was by changing the progen triad 
throughout. I'm not sure I actually uh, support this idea because the thing with this, it does take more tension and the units that are used for the progen triad are still causally dependent. So if the correct progen triad is killed earlier in the past, it's still going to be an issue. Those later units are not truly causally independent. It's an interesting idea, but I really don't, I, I don't agree with it, to be honest. However, Sickles, like I said, about two and a half minutes up now, has Chronoport back, so means Chronoport back like this Farapod, and, or a Farapod. So, like I said, this is exactly what I expected Gregum to do. Gregum does often do this. He's also sending up the Faro, Faros and Octopods up to the north, or actually up to the north, through the south. He's gone around with them. The Octopods haven't sent back. I think this is a mistake, actually. It looks like the Octopods... I'm guessing this is a mistake, because he probably wanted to have the Octopods actually sent out and properly attack. But his fire pods will be attacking properly, and Shaka will have to deal with this very quickly. The Chronoport hasn't come in yet, but it will very quickly, and Shaka will have to deal with this. He doesn't have a lot of units to deal with it yet. He has his Octos, he has his Faro, and he has an Octo coming down here to try to help with an expansion, but it's going to find out very quickly that it's na the natural has been taken already. More Octos coming in. I'm really surprised at this move. Wait, why is he not building... Why is he not building advanced structures? Why is he not building his Spire? He just has Octos coming in. He has Spire coming in that should be building a Spire, or should have advanced structures to build a Spire with. But he hasn't actually gone and done that yet. And at the same time... Well, actually, no. Three minutes up from here, but at the same time, Faropod will be attacking Shalka. Sickles, about four minutes up, is actually building more Sepipods, building more Faropods. He's likely to be chronoporting back units very quickly. Shalka sees that there's a lot of units coming in. There's a Faro coming in, or Faropod coming in. His Faros can see what's going on. He doesn't have any Seppies up yet, though. He will be getting more Faros to help deal with this, but he hasn't actually gone and dealt with this yet. The two Faros will probably be able to deal some damage to the Faropod, but they aren't dedicated anti-air units. However, they are also not the main targets of the Faropod. If you notice, though, the Faropod is get dealing a ton of damage to the Faros. One of the Faros is dead. The other Faro... Two more Faros are being built. The Faropod has been destroyed. So the Faropod didn't manage to deal a huge amount of damage, but that's still quite a bit. Sickles has jumped back, double-check what's going on. He sees that the Faropod has been ultimately killed, but he also has more units in the future that he can send back if he wants to. He has a bookmark near the present that he can use. Likely has more units there that he wants to chronoport back. So Shock is still going to have a very hard time dealing with this. He isn't really doing too much with these Faros. I'm surprised. It seems like they're just standing around there. Like, are you planning on doing anything? Getting tech? It almost seems like his units have lost the will to live. Just see, oh no, a far apart from the future. There's nothing we can do. Seriously though, why? where is... What is Shalka doing? I'm, I'm really quite surprised at what he's doing, and that he's not really building up any tech or anything. Sickles, on the other hand, has been building up quite heavily, and clearly his units still have the will to live. Doing a lot of damage, his far pods will be chronoported back, or another set of far pods is being chronoported back very quickly, and also dealing a lot of damage in the future, relative future, about a minute down from the present, about a minute up from our position right now. Sickles is going to be sending back a far pod, and there we go, so the far pod has been sent in. So Sickles will likely be jumping away from this very quickly, and he... So Sickles kind of gave away to Shalka that he is chronoporting back another Farapod, but it is the unplayable past, and Sickles is dealing with an enemy who hasn't gotten chronoporting yet, so Shalka really, I'm not sure what he's trying to do to deal with this. He does have some Octos, yes, some Faros set up, but really, I'm not sure what he's trying to do with this attack. He's just jumping around, double-checking what he has, but he doesn't build much to try to deal with this, so I'm very surprised. Sickles, like I said, is dealing a lot of damage, and does have chronoport units coming in. We'll have likely more chronoport units coming in very quickly. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like Shaka is not really doing much. He has Faro's set up, good defender, good detectors, so decent defenders, but he isn't building much. He's trying, looks like he's trying to build something, getting a progenerator warning, but it looks like he's trying to build, I'm not sure what he's trying to build, but he isn't able to build anything. His Octo and Faro are actually standing up right now. Neither of them are in progen mode. So he isn't able to really build anything. I'm not sure if he's trying to build some stuff and these guys just happen to stand up or what, but... Yeah, it looks like he is not actually building anything he wants to build. Which is rather unfortunate, however, he's also not getting tech, which is very surprising. But really, he should be getting advanced structures. So right now, Octopod and Faro is coming in from Sickles to attack Shalka's base, dealing a fair amount of damage. Actually, going to be dealing a lot of damage because Shalka does not have very good defenses. The Arcticus is dead. Shalka has lost his Arcticus. His Triad is being attacked, or was well, Seppi anyway, is being attacked very heavily. More units coming in, and Shaka really is not dealing with this very well. He hasn't really done anything. Like I said, his units are just standing around here not doing much at all. I'm very surprised at what's happening right now. And so the Octopod is being dealt a lot of damage by the Faro, but it looks like it will be able to... No, won't be able to kill the Faro. So the Faro will be able to defend against the Octopod. 
But Sickles has the, almost the entire map right now. Sickles really hasn't got any way of losing right now. Sokka, I really don't know what he's trying to do or what he's planning on doing or if he did something that, I don't know what, but he isn't doing anything right now. Sickles, however, has pretty much taken this, even though his chrono reports are not being as effective as they could be. They're still being very effective, and even the Octopods, Farapod, or Octopods and Faros, that dealt quite a bit of damage, put a huge dent in Shalka's base, and Shalka doesn't seem to be really dealing with it very well. So, the base is... Like I said, there is only this Sepi that's progening, and there isn't really much else going on for him. The Faros are being able to deal a fair amount of damage, and they are... Actually, they are going to be able to deal more damage. They're focused, it looks like they're focus firing on... Yeah, they're focusing on the forces of Sickles coming in, but they aren't really doing too much other than that. And it looks like... Yeah, Sickles is probably going to win this very handily. He has Octobuzz destroying the last of the RPs quite a bit in the future. Shaka's looking at the inflatable pass to see what happened, but nothing really has happened. He didn't really build much to have anything happen with. Very surprising. And about... About a dozen Sepipods or so up here as well, and Sickles has just decided to GG. I'm not sure what exactly was going on there, but he did lose the match, so that is Sickles' game. So, Shaka, GG. Sickles, GG. The game is done. So, thank you for watching. A very strange match, but certainly certainly a good demonstration of what Grekin can do from Sickles' side. And I hope you enjoyed that, so have a good night.